Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you. Psalm chapter 31, Psalms the Book of Sacred Songs. The Here to See channel focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the whole book of Psalms, a chapter at a time, and doing a here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Psalms chapter 31 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Psalm 31 O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies set for me. For I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. For you have seen my troubles, and you care about the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in a safe place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run the other way. I am ignored as if I were dead, as if I were a broken pot. I have heard the many rumors about me, and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am trusting you, O Lord, saying you are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Let your favor shine on your servant. In your unfailing love, rescue me. Don't let me be disgraced, O Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie silent in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for He has shown me the wonders of His unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic I cried out, I am cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him, but he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. And that was Psalm chapter 31 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now, for my here journal, first the highlight. Psalms chapter 31 verses 19 to 24 to the choir director of Psalm of David. Verse 19, How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them, you shelter them in your presence far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for He has shown me the wonders of His unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic I cried out, I'm cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. 
Love the Lord, you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to Him, but He harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. And what's my explanation? David the psalmist said, How great is the goodness of God for those that fear Him. This is reverential fear, not a fear of terror. He protects and blesses those that love Him and are faithfully obedient. His love is unfailing. When we cry out, we can know that He does indeed hear and will respond to our distress. He will impart peace despite any circumstance. Be strong and courageous because He will protect you. What's the application for us today? We must live faithful, obedient lives. Then God will be able to bless us and protect us. We should not hesitate to call on Him at times of distress. Reference. Psalm 34, verse 17. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. James, chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Romans, chapter 10, verse 13. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 7 casting all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may have mercy and find grace to help in time of need. James chapter 5 verse 13 Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. John chapter 16 verse 33 I have said these things to you, that you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation and thank you for my protection and unfailing love. I diligently strive to follow you faithfully and obediently, always forever. I pray for those that do not know you. May they find you and receive your blessings. Amen, amen. And how about you? Why don't you try some here in Germany? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be glad you did. And comment below. Share your experiences with us. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you, you know. Seek Him now.